provide information about Kyoka Eden. Kyoka Eden is one of the design children created in Togetsu. Oh, so we just have people being created here in Togetsu. Hang on. What about my power? What does the Kunad Gate have to do with me? The Kunad Gate is a trivial problem. The correction of the incorrect universe is essential to create the true future. Ah, oh, fuck. Am I seriously... Man, from now on, I'm not even gonna be joking about my theories. I'm just gonna throw my theories down as concrete. Thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have. They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you at Babe's terminal? Kasane? Oh, I knew it. Kyoka? No, wait, this is... I fucking knew it, man. Hey, quit messing around. Your way out's getting closed off. Scarlet Nexus. We got a boss fire in our hands. Oh yeah, this is some bullshit. And this actually looks like it would have been better for a thumbnail. Now there are others? Oh, not now, Yuito. Are you okay? <laughs> not now. No. There's no way I can drink that. I'm fine. I can fight. Let's do this, Nabi. Oh, shit. Alright, I should probably not do anything because I'll probably keep getting armor with ice. So, I'm not gonna keep slamming it with objects as much as I'd like to. Damn! I like that there is so much shit in the game that can hit you to where they take away your dodge. Wow, are you kidding me? Somebody save me. I mean, you never seem to let Yuito die. I really want to get a picture of, of Hanabi saving Yuito there, but I guess it's not happening. Where the fuck did you go? Oh! Alright, start throwing things on him. You leave Hanabi alone? Holy oh, shit. Leave it to me. Ah. Damn! This is bullshit. Oh no. I know about all the danger, Wataru. Come on! Break that shit already. Damn you! Finally. Whoa, okay. Oh no. Nice. 
No, damn it. I'm not gonna get revived twice, I'm not sure. Damn. Thanks for the healing. Hit the dodge. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Now. Now we just burn the shit out of it. All right. Should be able to start doing a whole lot of pain to it. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to hit the dodge. Oh, damn, already? Shit. This other's punches are as heavy as its size and flies. It would be reckless to approach with him strategy. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. That would be good. I thought it would do much better. Alright, we're gonna need this. Don't you dare. Don't you dare tell me I'm dead. Somebody save me. Please. Thank you, Hanabi. Oh my god. Best girl for the fucking win, my guy. What the fuck is this? Oh, you dickhead. I can't believe it just did that. What the fuck? Hey! Ah, damn it. I'm using a lot of items. Hey, if anything, next boss, a definite level grind. Got a level grind for the next boss fight, if possible. I just gotta be careful on my later saves. getting saved this time. No way. Oh my god, Nobby! Oh, I love you so much. She is the she is the queen. Oh my god, I cannot believe how many times Nobby has saved me during this fight. Oh, oh shit, shit, shit. Alright, asshole. 
There's no way I'm gonna be saved again, so I've got to be careful. No! Oh. Please. Hey, what's that? What is it doing? Oh my god! Yeah, okay. Yes! I wish it did so much more. Do it! Oh no, not Sagumi! Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is really, really bad. I can still fight! No! I hate this boss, I hate this boss, I hate this boss, I hate this boss! Oh shit! Don't do it! Thanks, Gamma! Thanks. It's good to have you on the team. Come on. will do anything. It doesn't. It's not even worth it. Oh shit. Stop that. Move, move, move. Oh shit. What the hell? What do you mean intercept? Oh! Oh, come on! Here, take, take it back! Oh. You son of a bitch. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely got a level grind for the next boss. I have to. I'm going on this fight by pure luck. Oh no. The only reason I've come this far is by pure luck. And everyone knows it! Oh, Hanabi, I love you. You did the big damage for me. Are oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, time to move. Here, take it back! Oh, shit. Thank you, Sugumi. No, you don't. Oh. oh my god. Here, Sugumi. Come on, we gotta keep hitting it. Don't turn that off. Don't keep it off. Okay. It's just one more go. Please don't pull out any crazy bullshit. Not this close to a victory. Whew. 
I'm not even sure how I got that perfect dodge. Yes! Yes! Kill that bastard! To hell with you. God damn. Target eliminated. And everyone's safe. Whew. How's your head? Don't strain yourself. Level grind. I'm Next boss. Now. Sorry I made you worry. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane. Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And we have a lot to talk about. And here I was thinking she wouldn't want to talk. Okay, I was thinking the same thing. Good, that settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. Sorry, I should have checked with you guys first. You're the one Kasane is after. If that's what you want to do, I don't mind. But can you trust her? I told you that she saved me in Togetsu. I think she had a reason for trying to kill me. So I want to talk to her. What are you going to do if she doesn't want to talk and just attacks you? Then I'll fight. Okay, if you say so, Commander. Let's get down the mountain for now. If I'm right about how she sounded, we should be able to talk. Oh, I'm a little fuck. worried about meeting up with Kasane. I mean, I hope we can talk to her, but... I'm not just going along blindly, but it was your decision. I want to respect that. Yeah. Bro, if Kasane gets to handle that boss, you already know I'm going to have a much better time as Kasane because that thing was water. And Sheedan's on Kasane's side. We would have had electrokinesis, which we didn't have here. So I had nothing to buff my strength. They're here. It's all of Kasane platoon. Kasane, looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes. I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. I tried to kill you because I was asked to. By you. Fifty years in the future. Oh boy. Me? 50 years in the future? What are you talking about? I completely understand how you feel. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, there's no way I would have believed it either. Do you remember when Captain Seto died on the Kunod Highway, and we saw that strange sight? My time travel power, the red strings, activated. Then we jumped 50 years into the future. Oh boy. What? You went to the future? Red strings. That's right. You said you have dreams about those. We saw them. It wasn't a dream. I have the ability to travel through time. A power called red strings. And Yuito, apparently you have the same power as well. What? I know we both use psychokinesis, but that's not what you're saying. It seems you understand these red strings a lot better than the rest of us. Just where did you get that knowledge? Was that from the future too? 
Yes, it was. We saw Yuito in the future. He told me quite a lot. He also asked you to kill me. Right. I'll tell you everything I learned in the future. That should answer everyone's questions. Who should I ask first? Yeah, I should have figured they wouldn't show up. No, I bet you're surprised. In that world, the Kunad Gate was much bigger than it currently is here in our time. The end of the world. That's what it looked like. It seems that in that future, the gate had expanded so much that nothing could be done to stop it. At first, none of us could believe what we had heard in the future. It was just too hard to swallow. We got some news in Ceyron, then a bunch of stuff happened, and now we can pretty much believe it. But I have to admit, it's got to be hard to believe just hearing it for the first time. The thing that appears when the red strings are used is like a device to time travel. That's apparently what the Kunad Gate is. Normally, it appears only for an instant and disappears immediately, but this time it didn't go away. Left open like that, the gate will eventually swallow the world. It was really bad 50 years in the future. It was when Kasane used the red strings that the Kunad Gate opened. But when her power activated, it resonated with yours, Yuito. That's why the gate won't close. On top of that, the gate seems to be slowly expanding. And looking at the news we got from Seiron, it more or less matches up. Ah, so the longer, the, as long as Yuito lives, the gate stays open because his power is still going. The power we both have is actually gravikinesis. It just looks like psychokinesis. Oh. When that gravikinesis becomes strong enough to travel through space and time, it's called red strings. I had no idea about that either. The Kunan Gate will disappear if Yuito dies. That's what future Yuito said. That just can't be true. It was already too late in the future, which is why he asked me that favor. He wanted me to kill you in the past, so the Kunan Gate could be eliminated before it got too large. So my power affected the Kunan Gate. I've had a bad feeling since listening to that vision in Togetsu. I can't believe I was right. So you knew. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So, the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. Bruh, my man is saying, how lame, I couldn't just off myself. That's not true. The you in that time was great, and you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me, how is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. All right. We should exchange intel. And first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. 
The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? Nah. Uh. Yes. All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth, and then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth. So those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. Oh great. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But 
wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the Red Strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero. Why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way.